Hello everybody, this is the Johnny Mayor, and welcome back to my playthrough of Ni no Kune. So my last episode, we returned the enthusiasm to King Tom, who told us he would find us a wand, and then he disappeared. And so now we are trying to figure out where exactly he went, and Mr. Drippy has suggested to us that we head back to Motorville. Because apparently the souls that are connected together between the two worlds can sometimes affect each other, or at least give us a little bit of insight into what exactly is going on with the other person in the other world. So, let's cast Gateway. Not quite as impressive as the first time we did it. But ah well, I guess you can't expect the same thing each time. Am I still going to be wearing my cape? Ha! I am. All right, so basically, again, I'm gonna follow my map. Let's head to the star. Julie's Jewels. Layla's Milk Bar. Some interesting names. Uh, it's okay, I'm working on it. Well, you're not fine, but uh, you have purpose again. In fact, there is. Where's your cat? Hmm. What a great owner to lose track of your animal. It does. <laughs> All right, well, I guess we'll have to try to find him. The case of the missing cat. What are we, Encyclopedia Brown? Goodbye. I will probably be back soon. Look at that massive bag of sugar back there. What does that say? Shakes? Huh. Oh, can't go into first person. That's annoying. Alright, so let's head back to our house. And I like how she did not comment at all about our attire. So we've done this before, run around this little corner. Hmm, guy with his car is gone. Weird. I like how this does not show up on our map at all. It's just a blank space in time. Uh-oh. It's her again. You're always sorry. Huh. Guess he didn't see her. We'll see about that. Hmm. <laughs> really, really. Yes, who are you? P. Huh. <laughs> I 
Okay, is that supposed to be significant to me? He's not kind of fat, he is fat. All right, so I have a spectral guide or a spirit guide, if you will. Fatty the Mog, huh? Yes, don't mind me following along after a hallucination. <laughs> What's all this then? I'm following. Run ahead. So where is he going to be, viewers? What do you think? Maybe in uh, Phillip's garage? Nope. Okay. So back towards where we met P the first time, I guess. Uh, maybe. Nope. Auto repair. Huh. In the auto repair shop, apparently. What? Uh, huh. Well, if there's a mouse... Go get him, Drippy. Huh. Yeah, that's what it looks like. She's not there anymore. <laughs> oh my goodness. Now he's carrying Timmy told her I'm like that fish. Poor Mr. Drippy. And I've never gone left, so let's Check out what's this way. Burgers and malts? Yum. That sounds good. And uh, not much over here. Just an invisible wall of nothing that keeps us from advancing. I. Uh, I cut up a street too early. head north here. <laughs> so I wonder how strong Mr. Drippy is. Obviously he can carry some weight. Whoa. An antique store, a music store, LP records. Huh. There's a flash from the past. Joe's Butcher Shop. Nice. All right, we got your cat. So the question is, can she see Drippy? Snookums. Yeah, that's kind of weird. Hmm. <laughs> Careful now. I guess. 
So now you're not going to worry about when he disappears like that. You're just going to assume that he's hunting mice. Huh. Kind of a lackadaisical owner. I will. Maybe I need some sugar flakes. Yes. He's probably chasing mice off in your world too, Mr. Drippy. Oh, Oliver. You're thick, man. Uh, yes, that little boy with the broomstick. So I wonder what I'm supposed to call Mr. Drippy's world. We haven't uh, heard a name for it yet. The fantasy world, the magical world, Mr. Drippy's world, MD's world. Well, let's head back. Apparently we can't head in there, so let's just cast Gateway here and hope we don't take that woman with us. That would be a, kind of a shocking experience for her. Well, that wasn't so bad. All right. So we still have a couple errands to accomplish and we have a better sense of uh, what we're supposed to do. We need to look for King Tom and he's probably chasing some mice, which means, yeah, we gotta go talk to that little boy again. But I do wanna finish up some of these errands and quests that we got. And I noticed on my map, if you look to the right there, there's a little staircase. I don't think I've ever been up here. Uh-oh, it's a crying boy. You know what that means. <laughs> Poor thing. Let us heal it. That is magic. <laughs> Mr. Wizard, I like the sound of that. Although I guess Dr. Wizard would sound even better. In a chest. Hmm. Well, that's all three boys. So that means I should be able to finish off this errand. Yep. Aw, thanks. Reward, please. Wow, that's a lot of thank yous. Sweet pie and some guilders. Nice. Stamps. All right, halfway. And I think there was a quest too for a bounty hunt, and I'm not sure if I ever took that because I'm gonna head out onto the world map and see if we can find those ingredients that lady wanted. Vegetable thief. And we'll check the errand board one more time to see if anything new showed up. Nope, just a splash of color. Two planes wart and two bottles of spring water. Hmm. Well, 
Well, we have a bottle of spring water, but no plains wart. So let's go searching. Are you guys ready for an adventure? And uh, we also have that... Where's our journal? There it is. That bounty hunt. Southeast of Ding Dong Dell. Well, if I'm gonna go hunting, I should probably sleep first because I'm pretty low on MP. So let's head to the inn. All right, and out we go. To the wild green yonder. All right. So unfortunately, we don't get little blips on our map. Well, there's a blue blip. Maybe we'll check that out. Yeah, I'm running in the right direction. A oh, little rhino. I'll let Lockhart take care of you. Another rhino. <laughs> it just ran past me. So only some creatures run in a straight line. Uh-oh, birds. These enemies are pretty easy. Oh, what just happened? Take on the Gruffin. And what the heck? It's like an eclipse going on. Yes, let's take it on. Oh, geez. Watch Got this. some roughs to support it. Here goes. Ow. Take that. Lockhart's taking a beating. Nice. Nice. Get that glim. Come on, Lockhart. Finish him. Nice. Eh, that wasn't so bad. Twenty five experience. All right, and return to Swift Solutions to report. Let's see if we can avoid some enemies on the way back. And uh, also be on the lookout for shiny points because we need. Spring water, and we need plains wart. And actually, I can probably just do that while I'm out here. There was that locked chest that was in the deep dark wood. And I will just meet you guys over there. Alright, so we are back in deep dark wood. We have returned to the treasure chest that is locked. And we're going to try to open it with our spring lock. A creamy flan. So what the heck is that? Is that a treat? Of course it is. Increases... Uh, defense. Okay. Nice. Alright, so I'm going to return to Ding Dong Dell after I collect all of my supplies. And so I will meet you guys back there. So Oliver leveled up to level 70, and also while I was running around, Lockhart also leveled up to level 7, not 70. Silly me. 
and I picked up some Plainsworth flour and actually some spring water as well, so we are good to go. So now we just need to head back in and cash in our errands. So I will meet you guys inside and we'll talk to that Gruffin. So here we are at the Gruffin and let's see what she has to say. Aww, we didn't have to buy that wooden shield, did we? Oh well. Getting closer. Alright, let's go cash in our bounty. Wonder what we're gonna get for that. Ending the menace of the little doggies. Claim bounty. Sweet. Another 50 gilder and another well-worn sword. So pretty much I could have gotten everything I needed for supplies just by doing these uh, little quests and errands and stuff. So any new bounties? Nope. And I'm gonna assume still no new errands. Nope. Alright. So let's go talk to that little kid. There certainly are a lot of people collected over here. What is going on? Well, let's go right to the source. Ding dong well. Hmm. Well, that's probably where he is then. Makes sense. Kidnapped? By mice? <laughs> uh, I guess so. Coming with me. <laughs> yes. Let us handle it. Your friend? Holy crap, what is that? Is that a monkey? <laughs> it is. It is pretty tough. Hmm. I can have it. Well, then the question is, what do I name it? What should I name a monkey? Hmm. Well, monkeys are kind of sneaky. So I guess what I will do is I will name it Jave. Yes. So there you go, Jave. Hopefully that's sneaky enough for you. Psych up. Go 
Go wild. Again, sounds very similar to Dragon Quest. Hmm. So now he tells me about canceling attacks. Well, better late than never. Hmm, so he can't defend. That's the trade-off. Well, let's check him out. Level one. Psych up and sharpener. Well, we can put this leafy mantle on him. And it looks like he can equip a claw. So I'm pretty sure that there was a claw back here at the armor and weapon shop. Yes, a spiral horn. And we already got the leafy mantle. Okay. So we need to see if we can find King Tom, and I'm assuming we're going to have to head into the sewers as they mentioned. It looks like it's locked though. Fortunately, we don't have any sort of lock spell or a key, right? Ah, yes, the spring lock spell. Nice. Thanks. Better late than never. All right, and that is going to be an episode. So my next episode, we're gonna head into here and see if we can find Prince Tom or King Tom. So as always viewers, thank you for watching and I will see you all next time.